the scars are fresh and so is the anger and that's the reason this is how RG Kaur Medical College and Hospital in Kolkata looks like the entrance and the corridor under the seas of angry voices and protesters who are demanding justice who have all united in anger anger against rape anger against crime against women we are reporting from the ground Whenever a patient is being brought to a hospital and most importantly being taken inside the emergency ward, people look up in hope and prayer, in hoping that the patient would be coming out all fine. And as they look up now, instead of hope, what they would find are these posters. We want justice, justice for victim, justice for doctors, no security, no work, RG Corps, Medical College and Hospital. On duty female doctor raped and murdered in Arjikor Medical College and Hospital Justice for Victim. You have this entire picture symbolically trying to raise the question as whether the medical hospital, well, uh, uh, the, uh, there are patients who are trying to come in, they have to be go, uh, pushed to the other side because uh, this side the entry is restricted. So over here you have, uh, uh, you know, symbolically this being raised that, you know, there are some, some people who are trying to prey on doctors, prey on uh, medical staff and that's the reason uh, you have a poster of that kind, RG Kaur Medical College, Bichar Chai, no mercy to rapists. So as I said, if you look up in hope while entering inside the emergency ward, be, uh, you be the patient or the patient party, these are the first things that you would get to see. At the moment you come inside RG Kaur Medical College and hospital, the chorus that would greet you in is we want justice. The students, the medical doctors, the junior doctors have now gone for a protest demonstration asking for better security apparatus inside the medical college and hospital because they are saying if they have to deliver service and do their job uh, you know, early in the morning or late in the evening or late at night, then what happens to their security? Because the victim out here or the diseased woman was a, 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 you know, was a doctor on duty. She is a second year PGT doctor, a medical student who had reported to night shift duty on Thursday evening, late on Thursday evening, little did she know that would be the last time she's coming inside this medical college. Little did anyone know that she will be meted with such, such an abominable death. Junior doctors, resident doctors, trainee doctors, especially those who belong to this medical college and hospital, they want to keep the protest as their own without any political patronage. And that's the reason students out here are trying to resist uh, any, anyone from outside to come inside, even if they are trying to show solidarity with the protesters. Uh, go back, go back, slogans are being raised uh, uh, to, to student body belonging to a political party, to the left-wing student body, such slogans are being raised so that uh, they do not come inside the medical college and hospital. The students out here are trying to ensure that the protest stays apolitical and protest stays as their own. So that there is no political patronage uh, appropriation by anyone and that they become a pawn between the political fight and a political showdown. So, ma'am, 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 their banners down and the flags down will definitely allow them inside. Okay. Do you think this is also not, uh, you know, solicited for anyone to take political advantage of the situation? I have no idea about this, but huh? absolutely, we do not want any political party to take any unprecedented advantage of this situation. We are standing together as doctors and students, and we don't want any interference of any political party. Ma'am, ma I, I do 
course you are holding a poster you are essentially demanding more security more security safety for students and we want the the punishment to be done as fast as possible and co and capital punishment to be done for the rapists okay ma'am sorry to ask you you belong to the first year second year i'm in the in i'm an intern you are an intern now yeah, the, the kind of security that you get to see at the gate do you generally see these many security people manning the gates every day or this is a this is a, a exceptional situation today there are there are security but we do where, where we are posted in the wards we do not get enough security there okay there is in the gates there is a we have a police outpost as well okay. but uh, we do not get enough security in the wards where we are working at night okay uh, ma'am do you also want capital punishment as your friend suggests yes obviously we want like the most the highest level of punishment which can be given over here okay because it's such a such a disgusting and such a heinous crime it is a heinous crime it yes. is a heinous crime period do you think an exemplary punishment should be given? of course so that it doesn't repeat itself again This is sad. It took the death of a 31 year old PG second year student for the hospital authorities or the medical college authorities to wake up. This same corridor where you were reporting from yesterday looks so so different and it looks different purely because it looks empty and it is looking empty because every person trying to go inside is being thoroughly checked. What you see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine security people manning this very gate which was yesterday manned by two people exactly what we have the visuals from yesterday we'll try and just oppose the two what happened yesterday how it was handled and probably why it happened a free access inside the corridor means anyone can just walk in if i try and go inside now they would ask for my id card they would ask for my credentials and that's exactly how it should be i should not be allowed to go inside if i'm not a patient party and if i do not have an emergency similarly that same practice should be implemented for one and all but that sadly hasn't been the case at least yesterday that hasn't been the case as per students who are protesting they're saying anyone could freely walk in inside and that's exactly probably what happened on the fateful day of friday morning very early in the morning the accused had access inside the building and he had gone inside without any purpose he did not in ha have any valid reason yet he could walk in was he checked did anyone try and stop him probably the answer is a big no apna ki college er medical college er na apna police er apna security college er ar kono private organization theke na apnara sarkari kono organization theke private to private apnader koto jon thake ei gate ta ei gate shift ho tinte pa shift ho ek ekta shift e koto jon thake tin jon char jon ko thake ajke beshi ache na na ei time e shobai chole ashe shobai chole ashe jatter jonno thake konstant to ratre bela koto jon thake ratre amra to na shift kori na amra bolto apnara keu night shift koren na night shift e फ्लोरे Well this is uh, the inquest report and I seek apology from the family of the deceased this could be very very difficult for them to digest this could be very very difficult for all the loved ones of the deceased to understand to in a way you know visualize and person personalize this very description it could be graphic and viewers discretion is highly solicited we only hope and pray the family of the deceased they don't see this report This is the inquest report and this inquest report prepared by the doctor in presence of other witnesses and also in presence of the family essentially defines at what possibly had happened to her it is nothing but an inquest report which is which in a way would decide the post mortem report now this was done yesterday 
and over here there are a couple of de descriptions which I would you know I would try and explain it says uh, during the inquest I found that the head of the dead body was at the western side and the legs were on the eastern direction which means two opposite directions the legs were on one side and the head was on the other side which means the death was not solicited and the death was not in control of the body the death was inflicted on the body that's the reason the head and the legs were staring in two different directions she was in half naked condition she wore a pink kurti and a white upper inner wear one jeans pant and a brown inner pant was lying on to the left side of the victim's body which is in a clear indication as how badly she was violated the kind of injury mark they have found bleeding from eyes bleeding from mouth injury on the face and nail bleeding from vagina injury in the left leg injury in belly injury on the left leg ankle injury at her neck injury at her right hand tiny finger injury on her lips and all of them indicate that it was it was force that was used on her the rapist had used force on her she did not surrender she tried resisting and that's the reason there were injuries in her face and nails maybe she tried resisting the rapist using her fingers using her nails but possibly couldn't withhold to the strength of the rapist this inquest report which essentially forms the foundation of the postmortem report confirms that she was brutally raped she was smothered to death are you a student here ma'am aap yes. aapne ek ane student yes yes nursing yes. third year sorry yes nursing third year student okay so now that you are protesting here ma'am yes. you fear for your security after that incident we are not feeling safe at the hospital premises and we want justice as soon as possible okay what what kind of justice as we have all gathered gathered here for for justice we want proper security proper cctv camera so the, after that we can go to ward and we can do duty before that we can't go to ward and do duty are there cctv cameras in this cctv cameras are there but they are not working or they are not functional we don't know about that so we want proper rest room proper cctv camera after that we will go no safety no duty no safety no duty what kind of punishment that you want for this man the, the uh, we want uh, punishment every punishment we want death of the culprit death of the culprit you want a capital punishment amader ki meye chilo amra or teacher amader kach theke o class 5 theke 12 obdi amader theke boro hoyeche amader kache amra bhabte pacchi na amra bichar chai আমরা দোষীদের শাস্তি চাই যে করেই হোক প্রকৃত দোষীকে ধরতেই হবে আমরা কিছুতেই মানব না আমাদের মেয়ের এই পরিণতি আমরা মানব না আপনি কি আপনি সবাই জানি রেপ একটা সিরিয়াস সোশ্যাল ম্যালেস আর এটার কিওর কি আমরা কেউ জানি না উই ডোন্ট নো হোয়াট ইউ থিঙ্ক উই অল শুড ডু মানে আমরা বাচ্চাদেরকে কিভাবে এটাকে হাউ ডু ইউ সেন্সিটাইজ দেন আমরা আমাদের ছেলেদের শেখাবো মেয়েদের সাথে কিভাবে বিহেভ করতে হয় আমার নিজের ছেলে আছে আমি ছেলের মা আমাদের ছেলেদেরকে শেখাতে হবে বিশ্বাস করুন যে মেয়েদের সম্মান করো এবং ছোটোবেলা থেকে সমস্ত বাচ্চাদের শেখাতে হবে গুড টাচ ব্যাড টাচ এবং সেই অনুযায়ী আইডেন্টিফাই করতে হবে কাদের সাথে মিশবে এবং মিশবে না কিন্তু এই কেসটা তো সেই ধরনের নয় এটা তো কাজের জায়গায় নিরাপত্তাহীনতা এইখানে সিকিউরিটি মেয়েদের দিতেই হবে আজকে আমাদের যে ফুল অকালে ঝরে গেল তার এক্সাম্পল নিয়ে যদি আমরা বাকি মেয়েদের বাঁচাতে পারি অন্তত দোষীকে শাস্তি দিয়ে সেটা আমাদের কাছে অনেক বড় পাওয়া আমি আমি কেমন ধরনের পানিশমেন্ট আপনারা চান দের ইস এ কোর ইস গোয়িং ফর ক্যাপিটাল পানিশমেন্ট what kind of punishment do sarbochcho punishment exemplary punishment if needed capital punishment of course that all should remember all exemplary should punishment that all should remember no before doing this kind of crime again yes and no one should dare to think of this sort of crime again exemplary punishment should be given we want justice you know uh, you all are teachers ma'am before i let you all go 
when children come to a school, when they study and when they say them goodbye, you only hope and pray that they make a name for themselves. This little, you know, second year old girl, even she was aspiring to be a name for herself, to be a doctor. You know, it, it pains me that dreams crumble down. Yes, absolutely. We just, we were shocked yesterday to learn about this. We were simply shocked and we didn't know how to express our grief. And just that's why we all came here to join with them and to show how distressed we are. I, I, I can see her eyes turning red. Um, so, uh, they're all teachers. The girl who is no more there with us, the woman who is no more there with us, they have all studied in a, she has studied in a school where they have taught her. Ma'am, be strong. Yeah? If you break down, that's going to be a victory for others. You need to fight. I am there with you in your fight. Do not, do not shed tears. Please, ma'am. If you break down, they would break down. Give them strength. You know, um, it is a very, very uh, overwhelming uh, situation. And I totally get their pain. So they are all teachers. And, you know, she told me I have been teaching her from class 5. She had been teaching her from class 5. They have all been teaching her in the school where she had gone to. And today she has broken down. She is weeping. And they are saying that we couldn't stay at home. And that's the reason we have come down. It is barbaric what has happened to her. What she was meted with is barbaric. And that's the reason. The teachers have come down to be the teachers of everyone else. To share their strength. To share their wisdom. Like they always do. And the lesson they always teach us. Do not give up. That second year old woman did not try to give up. She tried resisting the monster. She tried fighting with the monster. She could not, but she tried to fight. That's exactly what our teachers always teach us, to fight. At the moment, all these people are fighting. Fighting for justice, demanding stringent punishment for the accused, and a better, sensitized, secured environment for all of us to live, coexist and survive. Immediately after the incident, we have analyzed all kind of evidences which we have found, including the CCTV which was present uh, uh, in, in the vicinity of the PO. And uh, uh, we have, uh, you know, on the basis of these evidences, Amra Adjan ke arrest kore chi, evam nana rakam evidence okhante ke collect kore chi over the next day. Investigation, Cholche, Evam Achke, okay, produce for a hobby, Kote. Amra, a incident, we are extremely sad, anguished, and anger. We are with the family members, doctors, and whatever needs to be done from our end, we are following a uh, no transparent process of investigation. Jadi ora udhe kono kisu demand thakye family members se and as far as uh, this team concerned, we are following a very very transparent uh, investigation here. And uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, if there is any demand from uh, the family okay, that uh, they want the investigation to be carried out by some other agency from our side, there is absolutely no problem. He is a criminal of the highest order and we would see to it that he gets the highest punishment. And it is just the beginning of the investigation. Obviously, we are collecting more and more evidence. We are examining more people. further we will let you know. News the Truth entity has learned inside details of the investigation. Question number one. How many people were involved in this crime? And what is the crime? answer is the crime is rape and murder there is no doubt about it there is no second thought about it how many people were involved only one one who has been arrested question number two who is this man 
How did he have access inside? The man identified as Shonjoy was working as a volunteer in the civic police of Kolkata police. Not directly under Kolkata police, but basically Kolkata police civic volunteer group has a welfare organization. He was there working with the welfare organization. What was he doing here? On behalf of the welfare organization of the civic volunteer group, he was assigned the duty at Arjikor Medical College and Hospital to facilitate admission process of anyone belonging to the civic volunteer group of the Kolkata Police or anyone from Kolkata Police. For example, if anyone from Kolkata Police or the civic volunteer group had been injured, being rushed to Arjikor Medical College and Hospital, this accused person's job was to facilitate the entire admission process and also in a way assist them to get admitted and in the entire medical intervention or supervision process. That is the reason the accused had access inside the building. This very building is the place where the crime happened on the third floor where the seminar hall is. Question number four. What was he doing that night and in what condition was he in? The accused like other times had come down to the hospital whether he had any business or not it's still under investigation was he under proper state the answer is absolutely no what we have learned from sources he was under the influence of alcohol he was in an inebriated state that's right he was drunk question number five what was the nature of this accused what kind of a per person he was what you have learned from very credible sources within the police who have interrogated him, examined him, that he was a pervert all throughout, that he would watch pornography on his mobile phone, that his phone had a full-fledged stock of all kinds of porn videos, some were even incestuous of nature. His mobile phone, which is now in the custody of police, had in a, in a way thrown open the number of pornography videos which are there in the store. Which means, as a pervert, he had always resorted to watching porn videos, not really sure at what time of the day. That night too, he had watched pornography, he had watched porn video. Around what time has this ha uh, incident happened? What you have learned from sources, that the victim, that the woman, had gone inside the seminar room at around 2 in the morning. As I've been telling you, she was there on a night shift duty and she had gone inside the seminar room at around 2. There are eyewitnesses who have testified seeing her to have gone inside the seminar room to take a power nap. There was a brown kind of a bed sheet on her and she was last spotted sleeping like this at 3 in the morning, which means the crime has happened after 3 the Friday morning. How was he identified? By the police. Police had identified him through the CCTV footage. There are CCTV cameras on every floor of this building. And on every floor at the entrance gate, you have CCTV cameras. Those CCTV cameras have helped police identify every individual who had been on the floor, which is the third floor where the seminar room is. Apart from this accused, there were other resident doctors, junior doctors who had gone inside the seminar room and all, all of them had been examined. Minute by minute details had been sought from them and they had given out the details. They were eventually corroborated by police. This man too was caught on the CCTV camera entering inside the seminar room, stayed there for half an hour and then he came out. That's why police examined him and police found inconsistencies in his statement. What is the other thing that police noticed? When he entered inside the seminar room, there was a Bluetooth around his neck. Probably he was singing, uh, listening to some song or it was just around his neck. But when he came out of the seminar room, that Bluetooth earphone was not there around his neck the most crucial evidence that same bluetooth earphone or the headphone whatever you call it was there found next to this woman 
after she was raped and murdered, which means the accused, who was in an inebriated state, a pervert, who had raped this woman, woman while leaving, forgot to collect his headphone. His headphone is the most crucial evidence and the most crucial link in this very case. While speaking to my source, I did ask whether she had been killed first and then raped. Circumstantial evidences indicate and what I have learned from sources, she was smothered and probably she was raped after that. That's the level of perversion. Did the woman try and resist? The answer is yes. The woman tried to resist, resist hard. There are telltale signs of injury, injury marks on the body of the accused. We are not alone and we will not be and that is why we are here with the campaign to make this as one voice voice against rape as they say we shall overcome someday yes we will overcome someday only and only if we all together raise our voice against rape and crimes against women deep inside our hearts we do believe we shall overcome someday with video journalist Rani Shatra along with Shuman Gupta here at RG Corps Medical College and Hospital, Kolkata, this is Samal Shah for News the Truth, NTTV.